for you to sell right now. I'm so sure that in Jessica is so excited right now. And all what you just need to do is very simple. We are here to work with you. I mean, just do a minimum, not not less than 200 million naira. I don't know if uh, Chairman wants us to take it up. So, so what we're just telling you that just do a minimum of just 200 million naira in sales. And you know the interesting aspect is that it could be in our land, it could be in our housing yes, project. And very exciting right now, we have a project going on in US, in UK. So you don't have any reason not to be among the person that is going, they are going to be presenting this kit to come next month. So guys, we are ready to work with you. Let's make this happen together. Congratulations, Jessica. <laughs> Something to say. I'm so excited today. Honestly, I'm I'm, I'm just only in tears. I don't want to cry. When I came to GTS, I I didn't have the transport. The ticket, the ticket to start, I don't have. I I always um I just made up my mind that I will go no matter what. And then I called my mentor. I told her she went to check out the living online, and she said, "Come, you can't miss this internship. They pay in dollars. This training are in dollars. Now he's giving you for free, so you have to go." So she sent me money, she sent me money, I talked to my brother that, okay, it's um, unpaid uh, internship that, like, that I'm not going to pay. To be paid. Yeah, I'm not going to be paid at all. But I just have that mind that I'm going to learn. I went there to learn, to grow. And also, I found out because Stephen, um, his friends, they are high net worth individuals, and I want to meet these people. So my first sale came, that's this plot of land, I, I earned six million. And that was a turning point for me. And I also had the privilege of um, dining with Dr. Steven. Sitting with him, that lunch alone was a big deal. Lately, I posted it. If people started calling me from all quarters, I saw you. For you to sit with this man, it means you're a big person. <laughs> so I'm so excited. I was also given a um, shopping voucher. And I also attended the master class to grow. I needed to grow more. I needed to know what to tell clients before they will buy. If I give them value, they will buy. If I tell them what they want to do with their land, okay, you can do this, you can do that. I say, oh, interesting. If they go elsewhere, I look, they will come back again because I've given them value. You know? so, and I'm privileged to also travel with the company. I went to Ghana with um, um, for the CEO leadership retreat. It was an all expense paid retreat. I, I didn't pay anything. And the food was fantastic. They're just eating. They use they use food kill out in the shop. Yeah, honestly. So oh, I'm so excited. Um, and last year, I started last year anyway, and I was among the top five persons for last year. This year again, among the um, eleven top sales people, he gave us an award, a recognition, and for me, this is oh. congratulations. Well, let me say she's number one. We are going 16. Hallelujah. It's of our 16th year anniversary. We're doing 16 cars this year. So our realtors currently have over 15,000 of them. Mm -hmm. Whoever is able to sell up to, I think we have the target, maybe 200 million or so. Uh, either our properties in Dubai or US or UK or the ones we sell in Nigeria. Um, once you meet the target, you win a car. So our goal is every month to unveil it. So hopefully next month we'll be two people or three people or more. Like that till the end of the year. And we'll have given 16. Okay, so uh, invite people to do business with us. Uh, they can buy our properties. Uh, my name is Miriam. I joined um, GTEx at Associate three months ago. And ever since I've been learning how the business works, I've been learning how to talk to clients. It's not easy actually, but it's a beautiful experience. And I've been able to close a deal in the space of three months. And my commission paid in less than 72 hours. What an amazing company.
that want to start up a career, they want to do something nice, they want to to join GTEx and Associates. And I tell you for free that you won't regret this experience. Imagine you getting a commission, 10% of everything you sold. You sell two plots of land, you get 10%. You sell three, you get 10%. So that's been an, a great experience working with you guys. Thank you. GTEx and Associates. Learn, earn, and be happy. Good day, guys. My name is Emmanuel Isaiah from GTEx Homes Abuja, and I'm here to tell you a, a short story. Um, it all began three months ago as a fresh graduate of the University of Abuja. He came to students, unemployed, looking for somewhere to build um, his career in tech. Luckily, I've been following Dr. Steven since, um, since October 2020. That was during the EdSAS period because I could remember vividly that um, his platform was used to stream the happiness as at that time. They sent him a mail, he referred me to the HR. Luckily, the next day, I received the mail from the HR from Lagos asking me to come to GTEx or Babuja for an interview after the interview of which I was retained. The internship itself, I even thought it was just based on IT. I didn't know I was I was also having the privilege of learning what people pay millions for to learn when it comes to real estate. Three months rigorous training, I was able to close a deal of 50 million. I could remember countless number of leads that I've had previously. It, it, it just won't be really a little, you know, a little, um, a little persuasion, and then they just change their mind, and then I become this. I applied everything that was that was being taught. I ran ads. I didn't. It was not just for a single day. I've been running ads since when I came into this company. Although I didn't have a large amount to actually run the ad, but I started with 2,000 ads and I was running it daily. Anytime I have the money, 2,000, I run it and then it, it, it runs for you know, a, 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 an entire day. And then the leads I, I get, I follow them up. And so on this particular day, I ran an ad. I got, I, got, um, I got a response from the lead. Assume it was not someone that was serious. But then with, um, actually it was my manager here that actually told me to actually told me to keep up with following the man up i invited him to the investors meeting that was held last month and it was in the meeting where he got to know more about the products from dr steven he got to relate with mother mata and um and then the general manager he takes land luckily he was very interested and decided to key into the property still at that time i was still doubting because i was taking two million out of how many millions that i said he wants to that i wants to pay and that's why it began, it began paying them. Believe you me, with consistency, with dedication, you can actually get that dream sale that you actually want to, I actually want to get. So all the once again, big thanks to Dr. Steven, the chairman and founder of GTEx Holdings. Big, big thanks to my manager here in Abuja, Madam Blessing Eziago. Big thanks to my team here. I, because of time, I will not be able to mention the news and to every other person that contributed to this success. Thank you so much and God bless you. Bye. Good evening, everyone. I want to be sure you can hear me. Can anybody hear me? Please, if you can hear me, type, I can hear you in the comment section. Can anybody hear me? Thank you, Damilari. Thank you very much. So you are all welcome to tonight's episode of how to sell more real estate using Facebook ads. If you check what's displayed on the screen, this is our 41th night school training. So you, you are supposed to give us kudos for this consistency. And we appreciate every one of you that is joining us tonight. So if you know you are joining us for this night school session for the first time, just type yes in the comment section let me know if you are joining us for the first time while those of us who have been here before i would encourage you if you have a friend who is a realtor if you have a friend who is selling real estate or who just started send them this link so for them to not miss this session let's do that quickly oh reginald said yes for the first time it's a pleasure having you for tonight reginald thank you for joining us so okay it's like it's just reginald that is the first person great 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 oh wow i have kelvin join us for the first time damn larry 
Oh, great, great. You're all welcome to tonight. The interesting thing is we have our speaker right here with us, and because we don't want to take so much time, I, I understand he has just 30 minutes to show us practically how you can set up your ads. So I want to confirm, I hope you have either your second device that you can be doing practical training on, or, or you have at least your notes part for taking notes so that you can practice what you learned tonight. It's a practical session, so get ready to be pumped up. So I want to introduce our speaker, Mr. Emmanuel Imeduro. He's a digital marketer and property broker. If you have seen any of our ads, any ads from GTEx, GTEx Holdings particularly, know that he is the person behind those ads. So he, for him to be doing ads, for us, you, know, you should know that he is very, very, very good with what he does. So it's a pleasure having you here with us, Mr. Emmanuel. Um, I hope you are ready for us. Zeman, are you ready for us? Yes, thank you so much, Mr. Joe. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for you guys. Yeah. Thank you so much okay. and welcome everybody. Yes, over to you, sir. Okay, yeah. Good evening, everybody. It's my pleasure good. to be with you guys this moment. I'm so delighted to be doing this with two people this night. All right, just like Mr. Joe pointed out, I am Mr. Emmanuel Emedoro. Um, what we are doing this night is actually, is going to be a practical, it's going to be all practical. Before we go into that, a brief about myself, uh, just like I told him today, in the last nine, <clears throat> nine months, I've been able to close sales of what 500 million Naira using only Facebook ad. Personally, I don't, I'm one of the people that don't even like going out to even uh, prospect. Maybe just uh, carry flyers, go to the streets, you know, say buy real estate, buy my, buy my property, buy this, buy that. No. Right from time, my only way of closing day has been through Facebook ad. And the amazing thing about that is not just uh, uh, Facebook and Instagram, but only Facebook ad. And this is what I am going to show you this very night. So... And, and the problem I've noticed over time with a lot of people, I know maybe many of us that are here, it's not even our first time of maybe having to do anything on Facebook ad. Maybe several of you have had Facebook ad, you must have read anything about it, or even have uh, maybe uh, attended training on Facebook ad and all that, but the problem you are having is that you don't put it to action. You don't even practice it. Now, one of my, um, uh, one of my mentees, uh, that was last week, I taught him a lot of things on Facebook, and even up to now, he's still calling me that he's here to begin uh, even upon, we spent literally one hour plus on Zoom, teaching about Facebook, and he called me that he's here to begin at uh, the practical section of it, you know, to put it in practice, so, and that is exactly the problem we're facing. And there are other people too, their problem in this, uh, Facebook ad is fear, fear of losing money. When I started at uh, this, of course, uh, Mr. Joe will be my witness. I, of course, I did my internship with GTS Holdings, and then uh, after six months, then I became a staff, and that was how I started. But before, while I was doing my internship, I was still running ad. You know, I spent money, and even a lot of us contributed money, and then we were able to have a lot of, we did a lot of things. I was not afraid of spending money because if you don't spend money, you cannot even be able to, you have to spend money to get money. And that is what has held a lot of people down in this uh, industry, right? So one of the things or one of the best things you do for yourself is to put into practice all that you'll be learning this very night. It's going to be all practical. And then uh, I said that when I resigned, actually I resigned from GTS, uh, of course, to become one of the associates. I resigned from GTS, that was uh, September last year. And then I'm one of the associates of GTS. So I have uh, my brokerage firm uh, called CE Estate and Homes. So over since then, I've been doing a, a massive uh, thing. And all that I've been doing has been practically only using Facebook ad. So if you can at least practice what you learned this night, I'm telling you, 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 you take your sales to in, to the next level. So without uh, talking much, let's go into this. So we'll go straight, because I know uh, many of us here, if not all of us here, 
to have our business page already on Facebook. So we don't have anything to do with creating a business page. So we have to jump into running this ad on Facebook. So one of the things we will do, but before that, uh, three things you need in running Facebook ad. Of course, you need a business page. You need ad accounts. Please confirm if you can hear me. Let me know that I'm talking to people. Yes, confirm. we can hear you clearly. OK, OK. Yeah, so uh, just like I was saying, you need a business page. You need, of course, a page that is linked to your Instagram. Not Instagram, that is linked to your uh, WhatsApp business. And then you need a, an ad account. By default, every Facebook is assigned an ad account. Every Sorry, Facebook. please call, call those three things. You need a Facebook page. Please of call course, you need things. a Facebook account. Number one, you need a Facebook account, of course, which all of us are on Facebook. And then you need a Facebook page, like Facebook business page that is linked to your WhatsApp business account. And then, of course, you need an ad account. So these are basic things. You know, a lot of people think that this is, is, is a rocket science. It's not actually. Even when I started, I didn't even need much thing to get started. You need to get started. So basically, with your Facebook account, you can start running ads because you have already, you are already assigned an ad account. And then, of course, you need to create a, 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 a business page where, of course, you post your properties regularly. So let me show you from my system here. I'll be sharing this to show us what I'm talking about. Okay, just give me a few minutes, please. Please confirm if you can see my screen, Mr. Joe. Yes, I can. Okay, fine. We are we are live on Facebook. We are live on Facebook. So basically, any person that is on Facebook, this is what you will see when you log in. Uh, practically, I'm using my company page. So let me just switch to this. So what you are learning is what has earned me. Okay, just last week alone, I I was paid a commission. One of the uh, real estate company I was I'm marketing for here, I was paid a commission of about three hundred, uh, three points, almost three points, almost four million naira just last week alone. And that I am going to show you the ad that got me that that uh, commission as we progress on this. Uh, uh, training. I'm going to show you that ad. That ad I got, I was I got about ninety something leads. But out of ninety something leads, just two people that I closed from that day that got me that commission. So that's to tell hey, you that. So ju ju just a quick one. Just a quick one. I hope we understand why Mr. Emmanuel is not showing his face, so that you will not be eyeing him too much, and some people will not visit his DM. You understand? Okay. So you can go ahead, sir. Okay. Yeah, so that is, I'm going to be showing you a lot, I'm telling you. So if you can actually put to practice what you'll be learning from, I'm telling you, uh, you're not going to be broke again. So now we're here, like I was saying, we have three things we need to get started. You have your first Facebook account, and then you have your ad account, and then Facebook page. So these are, this is my Facebook account. So once you go straight to ad, so we have two ways from this platform, like just like when you enter on your, when you're on your Facebook homepage. So you have two ways to locate your ad manager because we, the thing we need to run this ad is ad manager. So I don't have to start a, a page from the beginning because I know that many of us must have known uh, maybe little or more about Facebook ads. So I just want us to go straight to practical. So now from your Facebook, you want to locate your ad manager because it's ad manager you want to uh, use to run this ad. So Either you locate it from your left, when you come to your uh, platform, your homepage, you locate your ad manager from your left-hand side. Look at, if you can see my cursor, you see, you go down, I see your ad manager here, or look at, on your right-hand side, at the top, you see this block here. On that menu, you click that menu icon, and then you go down to locate your ad manager. I see under professional, you see your ad manager. So I'm going to right-click, and then open in the new tab. 
So here I have my uh, Facebook, I have my Facebook accounts, and then look at my Facebook business page. Just like I told you, you need Facebook business page to run this ad as well. But of course, I know that many of us, having been on this industry for a long time, you must have created your Facebook business page. And here is my Facebook business page, CE Estate and Homes Limited. And amazingly, one of the things that confuse people, they feel, they feel that you must have maybe thousands of followers before you start making sales or you start using your Facebook page to maybe run ads. I want to tell you, this page, I created it, uh, that was in April. I created it on the, I think, 7th of April this year, this page. And then I started running ads with it when I had even only 15 followers. I started running ads. So that is to tell you that even if your page is new, you can start running ads on it, right? You don't have to wait until when it's up to maybe 1,000 or 1,000 plus before you start running ads. And as you can see, I have just uh, 738 likes and then followers, 900 and 700 and something, you know? So to tell you that you can run ads even if you don't have any followers. So what is needed is just for you to have a page where your ad can be hosted. Are you following me, please? So these two things you need to have, your Facebook business page. So then, of course, you need to post maybe one or two things on this page, so which for me are posted. So one of the sample we'll be using from this ad, and of course, we're going to be doing practical. So I'm going to pick information here. Oh, Mr. Joe. Hello, Mr. Joe, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you clearly. Okay, you know what you do, just to show them any, uh, just, uh, Send me any of the GTS property, the write up, and then the video on my Facebook, on my WhatsApp. Let me WhatsApp. use it. Okay, okay. Yes. let me send it. Yeah, so that I can show them with that. Okay. So basically, this is what I will have. This is my pay, right? These are the two things we need to do. Remember, I said number one, you need your Facebook account. Then two things is Facebook uh, business page. Then three is what ad account. And then I told you by default, Facebook gives every, every uh, Facebook account ad account so you are going to see my ad account let me go here under ad manager let me show you my default ad account so this is the ad account i have about four ad accounts if you can see this is number one ce estate one ce estate two three and then look at this one ce homes this is the default ad account facebook gave me right for you to you should have this ad account default ad account Facebook has sent you. So with this alone, I'm going to show you what this has gotten me. So with this alone, you can get started running ad. Now, but why again, uh, as a measure, a backup measure for uh, you, maybe because you're not going into this just to run uh, just one ad and go away. You are going to run a consistent ad. So why I advise people to have more as many ad accounts as possible, especially let it be, it have to be more than one. In case your account is being restricted, you can fall back to any of them. Right, because if, for instance, I have only this CE Homes ad account and then my account is being restricted, you see, I cannot be able to use it to run ad again. And if I don't have any other ad account, it means that I'm not going to run an ad. And the worst aspect of it is that if your account has an issue and it's being restricted, you cannot be able to create an extra ad account. So that is why it is very wise before you start running ad as a backup measure, you try and create additional ad accounts. Should anything happen to your ad account, you can fall back using this other ad account. Now, from what you can see here, I have already extra three ad accounts added to the default one I was given, right? So making it four ad accounts. So I use all of them anyway, because I still run ad for people. So I use some for my step and then some other for uh, other people. So now for what you can see here, here is CE Estate and Homes. It's what we'll be using to run this ad. Yeah, check your DM. I've sent you the video and information. Okay, that's fine. So I hope you are following me, please. Okay. If you are so, following, type yes in the comment section. We are absolutely following. I'm doing practical here. Okay. All right. Fine. So this is... Uh, uh, I want to post this now because I'm, I want to show you there are two ways uh, to get about this. So before you run any ad, you either any property you want to run ad from, you have to go and post it on your page, like I will be doing here. I just want to uh, want you to see what I'm doing from beginning to end. 
So this particular ad, we want you to test run. And maybe if we have opportunity, anytime you put a meeting, I'm going to share with Mr. Joe to share with two people, the results will be getting from this very training we'll be doing this night. So, but the bonus, extra bonus I'm going to give you people is how to watch. Okay, please, can hold hear on. You. I want You're to bonus. download. Can you hear me? Yes, I can yeah. hear you, but we're eager to hear the bonus before you, you now pause. Okay, okay, fine. The bonus I'll be giving you people if any of you that will, if you have to stay to the end of this program, I am going to at the end of this train, I'll go, I'm going to give you a special bonus, which is what uh, teaching you how to uh, get Nigerians in diaspora. It's not, actually not part of this training, but that is a bonus I'm going to add to this, and that will be for the people that will have to stay to the end of this training, right? So, how to uh, target Nigerians in diaspora, and, and we appreciate our guests in the house can we appreciate clap for him tell him thank you in advance so that he will not say you guys not appreciate me and he will go on this call uh -huh. thank you okay. sir i really appreciate that you're welcome you're welcome so now I i'm trying to tell you what i want to do here i want to download this mr joe sent to me so i'm going to be posting it on my page this is exactly what you're doing i want to show you hey, this is a practical station i want to show you how to do everything practically so that you don't have to say, okay, I missed this and I missed that. So this one, a video, I'm trying to play it for me to be able to download it on my system, right? And it's have to play to a starting point for a download icon to come out for me, now to put it on my desktop. So please, you want to hold on for it. So far, so good. If you know you are getting value, 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 I want to be seeing it in the comment section because he's making it look so simple and so simplified. You don't have to crack your brain too much when you want to run this ad. Thank you, Kelvin. Yeah, I'm glad you are getting value. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So he's downloading the video. He wants to show us how to set it up on the Facebook page. I'm believing that after this ad, breaking, hearing... uh... oh, my network is breaking. Yes, the energy is massive. Thank you, Nahuru. So I'm believing that after this training, we'll be from, in fact, from Monday, we'll start saying, oh, I've closed this, uh, this amount of property. I've closed Jasper five bedroom duplex and the client paid out right 175 million. So we'll celebrate with you. I believe that that's what we are going to be seeing from next week. Okay, fine. That's, that's fantastic. Thank you, Mr. Joe, for keeping on. So you can see now I have an icon, a download icon, where I can download this video right now. So this same video, you can equally use this video. So maybe Mr. Joe can as well share the video uh, on the group, right? So for you to use it, do the same thing I'm doing. You can literally replicate what I'm doing here, right? Just whatever you see me do, do the same, and you are going to get the same result. So I now click on this download button to download it for it to download on my system. Okay, why is downloading? So let me go and copy this. I have to copy this same thing. You don't need to. You don't need to be creative about that. For those of you that are just starting, you don't know what to do. So you don't need to cre be creative. Maybe when you are advanced, you can decide to tweak to your own design. Or well, as a beginner, I want to tell you it works, right? So now let me, I'll have to go and paste it. I'll upload it on my page I'll be using. So, so this is my page. So let me now. Post. It's breaking. My line is breaking. It's not breaking. My brother, check your network from that end. From this side, it's not breaking at all, please. Okay. But you guys are seeing what I'm doing here, right? Yes, yes, very well. Okay. So you see, I've been able to uh, uh, probably uh, put this on my page. So let me go and pick that video that I was downloading. Yeah, please check the check the right up. There's the Instagram link under okay. it, under the hashtag, so you can remove it. Okay, that's okay. Yeah.
Are you guys following, please? Yes, absolutely. Okay, fine. So you can decide to add uh, maybe filling a side edge like I usually do. Filling a side edge, maybe I'm filling a side edge with this. Filling a side edge, so I add this. And then one other thing, I want to link it with my WhatsApp so I get WhatsApp message at once. Right, so post. So this is posting. Okay. Your post is being processed. We will let you know when it is ready. Okay, fine. Uh, we've been able to uh, take care of this, right? So why I opted to publish this on my page is because at this uh, at ad level where I'll be picking it. Okay, maybe when we get there, I'll tell you why I do this. Okay, so let's go back to this area. So like normally, if your uh, platform is new, if you followed what I did, remember I went here and then right click on this ad manager and then it brought me to this place. So if you have a new uh, platform and you've not started running ad, if, uh, this place will be blank, right? The whole of this place will be blank. But then let me show you, I was talking to you about uh, the promo we did. There's one of the fantastic uh, properties I promoted that was uh, this August, we started the promo on the 1st of August this month, and then it ran through this August to 16th of August. So see the lead from my dashboard here, if you can see, I got about 98 leads. If you see here, 98 messaging. I told you out of this 98, I got two sets from this. And the sales wow. was about a, a 40 million plus, the two of them cumulatively 40 million plus. And then after this night, it, I actually had about six of them that were interested, but the only thing that made me to, maybe for other people to lose that because this promo was outright payment. So men, uh, the four of them were asking for an installment plan. So that was why I could not close about four of them. I was able to close only uh, two out of it because it was the two that were able to pay the outright payment. Right, this is just August. Look at, if you see the title here, I see August 30% promo, right? That is to tell you that, what I'm, whatever I'm teaching you here is what I have done personally. And for those of you that are joining um, us now, I told you that I have closed over half a billion in sales in the last ninety, uh, in the last nine months. And then I did all of this using only Facebook ad. So if you follow what I'm teaching you this night, you can you can do the same. And this happened to this don't have to be a, a rocket science. It's not it's not as hard as to uh, maybe thought it to be. So now let's proceed with what we're doing. Like if you enter, if you if you followed us to this level, what you will do as a beginner or some maybe you come to this platform, what you want to do is to go to create. Look at this icon, create. Right? So remember I told us that we we'll have you need to have your ad accounts. And I showed us that by default, Facebook gave each and every one of us that have Facebook accounts and ad accounts. Right. So when you come to this place, we'll have six major objectives in this area. But of all of this, the only one you need for now, or the only one we'll be looking at is sales objective. But I'm going to go through this six objective. So we'll have awareness objective, we'll have traffic, we'll have engagement, we'll have lead, we'll have ad promo, and then we'll have sales objective. So awareness actually is for a brand awareness, just like the name implies. It's for brand awareness, just like you have a brand, you need new people, not just for them to buy, just we'll have a company like Coca-Cola, they use this more just to create uh, just to create awareness to people and just to keep people aware that they are still existing. You know, just for that brand to, to be established in the heart of people, right? So they use this, even some of these are art, 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 artists and a musician, when they launch their music, they use this to promote, to create awareness, just to try to show your art to people who, who are most likely to remember them. That's the purpose of this, for people that are most likely to remember whatever you're putting up there, right? And then traffic. Traffic is actually for people that have websites, so you can be able to direct people to your website to take any action you want them to take, right? And and again, at this point, I want to tell you, like, I've gotten so many questions. People ask me that, do I need a website to run ad? So from here, I'm going to show you that you don't even need a website to run ad. Right? The ad will be running, we are going to be directing them to your WhatsApp. They will be coming to your WhatsApp. So whether you have a website or not, you don't even, it doesn't matter. Right? So that shouldn't be a limitation to you that don't have a website. 
And even amazingly for me that I've been running ads, even while I was running ads for GT, I was with GTEx, I, I, I don't even often use this website. Most of my ads are lead generation and then uh, WhatsApp. So, and as I've been running ads in the, in the last one year, I've never even used this traffic. I mean, that is amazing. So you don't need to be bothered about it. So traffic basically to direct people to your website. And then engagement. This engagement objective actually is just like you know that a lot of video goes viral, right? If you have any video that you want to go viral, you use engagement. And this is what people use more. You see people that say that their likes, their posts go viral. Many of them use this engagement. You use it to grow your page, just like you saw my page. It was just this engagement I, I was using to grow it to that point. When I, I first had it, it was literally nothing. So from the beginning, I used the engagement to grow it to a point about up to 500 and something before I stopped running out on it. So use engagement to grow your page. Use engagement to make any video go viral, literally. And then many other things. So it's actually a, a broad topic on its own, just in, in a nutshell. And then lead ad. Lead ad is basically that lead objective is basically to collect lead, use it to collect people's uh, phone number, use it to collect email address, and and then use it to qualify people, right? Because uh, the advantage this lead ad has over sales is that you can use lead ad to qualify people. That is the major advantage. If not, there's no other thing. Use it to qualify people because on this lead ad, you can be able to ask people. Some certain question, just like if you've run, if you're running ad before, now you see that a lot of people can reach out to you. Though, depending on how you optimize your ad, many people can reach out to you, even people that are not even really expected to reach out to you. They will chat. You see, it's on the age, you see a lot of people actually. So, but if you are using lead ad, lead ad will be able to pass them through a funnel, and you'll be able to ask them question like, so, so, okay, maybe I'm going to show you if time permits. Anyway, one of the ads I run for GTS. So I will show you the questions I ask them, and that is to tell you that the advantage of using the ad. But then, as a beginner, you don't need this. And to be honest with you, even as up to this moment, it's been a long time I use this lead ad, and I'm making sales, and I'm, I'm okay and comfortable using only sales ad, and that is where we're going. So I'm showing you things that work, so I don't need to stress yourself. Maybe I don't know, I want to use this, so I don't know, please, can this work or can this not work? Then, app promo. So another objective, it is actually for people that have an app. You created an app, maybe in your app store. You want to you want people to get to know about your app. You use this on the uh, run ad to direct people to your app, to download your app, and then take any action you want them to take. And then the last one, which is sales objective. This is what will be, and I've been using this over time. So like, find people likely to purchase your product or services, right? You use this sale ad. Of course, people, most people that are into e-commerce, this is what they use majorly. They use this sales ad. Of course, for Facebook to categorize this under sales ad, it means that over time they have been able to bring together all the people that have taken one action or the other regarding to sales. That's why they have to bring this under this. Right? But we're going to use this sales ad. So it's just a notion. I'm telling you, whatever we're doing, you need to understand that it's not, it's not something as hard as you, maybe you thought it to be. I just want to make it as simple that you don't even need to maybe say uh, this is so hard and then you want to wait until when you are ready. So literally what I'm doing now, you can follow us and then get the same result, right? Okay, let's proceed. You click on your sales and then continue. So again, this area, you don't need to use this uh, advantage plus shopping campaign. It's actually for people that don't have the new views, but for you that you at least you know a lot about, you don't need to go. Usually, you use manual, manual sales campaign. So you click on this manual, like the this under manual setup. You click manual sales campaign and then continue. Okay, fine. Then we're going to you're going to put a name to what you are running. I think let me see the name of uh, what this person sent to me. Okay, Jasper. Jasper Gardena is the name we're going to use now. So just for you to identify the particular one you are running on. So we'll put Jasper Gardena, right? So this is only what you'll be doing in this particular place. 
So this is only what you have to do here. So you don't need to do any other thing. So you now go down, right? So uh, when we when when we get to targeting Nigeria in diaspora, then I will come back to this area and show you something here. But for now, you don't need to do any other thing here. So you have to go straight to next. Fine. Now we are in this. This is ad set. We have different level. We have three levels of this ad. We have campaign level. Then we have ad set level, and then we have ad level. So the campaign level was what we just uh, did. Campaign level under campaign level we have uh, objective. This is where you pick your objective. Campaign level which we pick our sales, and then many other things you don't even need to because why I didn't go talking about this because sometimes when you talk about it, people feel, feel that it's necessary, but it's not necessary. But one thing I actually want to point out here is this particular one, sale advantage campaign budget. Now, if you are running a test, for instance, just like uh, we saw that one, uh, Mr. Joe will be working on now, the Gardenia, Jasper Gardenia. Supposing we have video of Jasper, Jasper Gardenia that are two, and then we want to know the one that is, is maybe performing very well. So what we want to do, we'll come here and turn this on, right? We'll come here and turn this very uh, advantage campaign budget on. And then use how much, how much are you using? We'll maybe use 5,000 naira. So doing this, the only time you turn this on is if you have more than one video, you want to actually know the one that is performing very well. Now, what this will do for you is, it will tell Facebook that this advantage plus campaign that out of these two videos I am using to run this ad, anyone that is performing very more, this budget should not be distributed equally. You should apportion a higher budget to that particular video that is performing very well. That is the purpose of this very advantage campaign budget. You see, as the name implies, advantage campaign budget. So Facebook will not be able to give this fund 5,000 Naira to any video, any of those two videos that is performing more. So, but for the fact that we're using only one video, that is why I didn't even care to turn it on. But then as a beginner, you don't even, that is why I say, you don't need to worry anything about this, right? You can do without it. Even me up to now, I still do without that. So then let's go to the next and continue. So this is ad set. So remember our name, Jasper Gardena ad set. Fine. We are getting now, uh, it's getting interesting. So, all of this now, we want to pick where we want to direct our ad. So, we don't, we don't want to direct it to websites. We don't need it to app. We need it to message you. We want them to reach out to us on our WhatsApp. And that is why we're picking this. But then, if you want them to reach out to you through call, you can pick up this one so that at the end of the day, they can reach out to you on call by calling you. But then, we need them to reach out to us on WhatsApp. Right? Fine. So on this area now, you see that under this page, of course, I have my page selected already. This is the page I, I have my WhatsApp number. I want them to reach out to me. So at this area now, we have Messenger. I don't want them to reach us to Messenger. That's why I untick. I did not select this one, so I untick it. Because if you select it, they're going to reach out to you on Messenger. And you don't want that because you cannot be able to get their phone number to follow them up. And that is equally why I don't want them to reach out to me using what Instagram, because I cannot be able to get their phone number to follow them up, right? Because remember, the most important thing you need to is follow up, and you need to get their phone number to follow them up. Now, that is why I have to select this WhatsApp. But then I have two numbers here. So the particular number I would want them to reach out to me on is this second one. So this is very important. So you have to go and select this one. Well, amazingly, you can link as many numbers as possible. You can link even more than 10 numbers here. So, and you go here and select anyone you want them to reach out to you. So I select this second one. Hope you are following me, please. Let me know if you are following me and are you getting value, please? Yes, sir. Yes, Let, yes. Okay. Next time I am following, I am following, I am following. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. All right, let's continue. Now, this is that. So I've selected the number I want them to reach out I'm to you. Something. Okay. Please, uh, I lost network. Why did you direct the ad? So I I stopped where you talked about websites. You were trying to tell us where to direct it. So that's why I lost network, please. Okay, fine. At uh, this location, actually, under this conversion. So this is website. We don't want to direct them to our website. 
then we will go straight to messaging apps. Okay, sir. Yeah, you see on that messaging apps, we'll have three apps. Under this messaging apps, we'll have your messenger, we'll have Instagram, and then we'll have WhatsApp. And okay. that is why, and that is why you see those one, three of them here. You see Messenger, you see Instagram, and then you see WhatsApp. So, and okay. I told her that why I don't like directing them to Messenger and Instagram because I cannot be able to get their phone number to follow them up afterwards. Mm. Hence, I want them to reach out to me through WhatsApp so that I can always follow them up using their phone number, right? Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Then at this place, you don't by default again. This is under performance go because some some other account to give you this so you want to notice things here yeah. so we'll try to show your ad to people most likely to have a conversation with you through messaging this is very important and that is the one we're going for we don't want this say so we will try to deliver your ad to the right people to help you get most website conversion we don't need this and then we don't need clicks Remember, we need only conversation. And actually, by default, you see it's maximum number of conversations. So then you go straight to your budget. Now, under this place, we'll have daily budgets and then we'll have lifetime budgets. Now, I don't advise people to use lifetime budget because if you use lifetime budget, for instance, just as I'm clicking lifetime budget. Now, for instance, I want to use a... Uh, I have 20,000 Naira, and then I want to run out of 20,000 Naira over a period of, uh, say, 10 days. And then today is 29. So you set it up to a start date, and then you set it up to, let me say, uh, 7th, 7th September, right? So one disadvantage with this lifetime budget is that if you set up your ad at the end of the day, and then you happen to it happen to be that your ad is performing so very well and then you want to proceed you see that at the end of this very date it will stop you have to start afresh to set up a new ad and then you mean why you've lost that uh, pace the ad is going and then for you now to get the same one that is performing you have to do your test again you have to observe it so it might not give you that same performance right or that same quality of lead, the one you set up already is given. So that is why I encourage people, instead of setting up lifetime budgets, you click put up daily budget. Even though you have maybe, for instance, only 20,000 Naira, right? You just know what you do, you'll be monitoring it. Just load that 20,000 Naira, immediately it's finished, your ad will stop. Then setting up a lifetime budget. So the good thing about it, immediately, if your ad is performing very well, and then that 20,000 and get exhausted, you can fund the account and then the ad will continue. You don't have to start afresh. Do you get me? So far, then daily budgets. Now, the daily budget yes. I encourage people to use at least, I encourage people to use 3,000 Naira and above. For me, even at times I use 5,000 Naira. Uh, no, most, my minimum budget actually is 5,000 Naira. So I encourage person, people to use daily budget of 3,000 unless you don't have fun and we just want to do a testing you can use two thousand naira. but here for the sake of this training let's use three thousand naira daily budget right yes so and one thing equally you need to notice for instance your ad let me see if i can get this fine Wait. i know I, I know that this is not the time to ask a question it's breaking but i don't know that some people have okay. of, of the opinion that the more money you you put, that's the kind of result you will get. So if you are using three thousand, are you going to get the kind of result with the kind of free real estate you want to want to advertise? That is that is actually what I wanted to explain to you here, because I know that that question will come up, right? Now look at look at what I ha I have here for instance. Now look at this one I showed you people. I had about how many leads? I have eighty nine leads. Now look at cost per result of this particular one. I have cost per result of eight eight hundred and twenty four naira in this one. And then I spent over eighty thousand naira on this lead, right? Now using three thousand naira for so, supposing in this one I was using six thousand plus, and then so then just like you rightly pointed out, the result, the number of people that you want to chat you per day is determined by, by the what the budget you put per day. 
Now, for instance, we are using 3,000 Naira uh, to run this ad. And then, averagely, Facebook, they, they give us a cost per result at 800 and let me say 850. So divide that 3,000 Naira by 850, you now get, you now, you now know the number of people that will reach out to you per day. Uh, do you get that? So that is why. So if you want more people to reach out to you per day, you want to what? Increase your daily budget. So that is how it works. Okay, and thank again, you. Yeah, fine. And then there are actually, if you now notice something again, you now notice here, this one above it, I have two other one above this 800 and something. You notice that this one cost per lead, cost per result is what? 1,816 Naira. And then the other one is 2,000 plus. So there are factors actually that cause this uh, cost per result to go high. So which I'll be addressing, if you can remind me that I will be addressing it later, right? So let's continue. So now I now remove this start date. So once you use this daily budget, so need are out to run straight. So don't want any uh, thing, any interaction. Now, again, you want, you want to pay attention to this very place under audience control. Fine. Before we will now go to pick our audience, this is where the the whole thing will be happening. We want to switch to switch to original audience option. Because if you don't switch to original audience option, that means whatever you you be doing here will be determined by Facebook. But we want to take full control of what we want to do here. So that is why we want to switch to original audience. Use original audience. Okay, so we want to switch to original so that we can be able to take full control of what we're doing here. So I have some audiences that I saved here, but I'm not going to use that. So we're going for the fact that this is a training. So we want to start to create a new audience, right? Now, in this one, we have actually we have about uh, four different audiences, but we are going to narrow down to two. So we have broad audience, we have, and that is in targeting now, right? If we want to target, we have about four different targeting. We want to narrow it down to two targeting, broad targeting and detailed targeting. Now, broad targeting is a situation whereby in this place, you just only put your location first. If I define it, I want to show you. So in this location, the property we are running, we are doing Lagos. So I want to use only Lagos. It's breaking. I don't know that. So you notice this is Lagos. I'm putting Lagos, Lagos State as a city, not as a state. Yes. So I clicked, I picked Lagos. And then if you look at your right, my right hand side, I see I have about three, four million to five million audience, but I'm still going to narrow this down. So I want to show us broad targeting and then detail targeting. Now, under this, I'll come and select, of course, you know the, the, the categories of people that buy real estate in Nigeria. They have to be, like for me, I use 40 years and above. Ordinarily, these are the people that buy. Of course, if you've been selling property over time, you discover that these are the people, age brackets of people that have that been buying real estate. But if you want to, I can bring it down up to 38. But usually I use, I use 40 and above. And then because that this is, this particular ad we are running, we are directing it to uh, our WhatsApp. So, and we are not using lead. One to what? This is part of the way. One of the way to qualify people, right? If you notice, we we'll have by default eighteen years. So, so, for some people, they will want to leave it at eighteen years and then allow Facebook to give them as many people. But if you do this, you see that a lot of people that are under age will chat you. But as part of qualifying them to get a, a quality lead, we want to pick from 40 years, and then not just, just that, and then narrow it down to 60 as well, because you know that the individual that are 60 plus, they are no longer interested in buying your property. They just want to retire and go and enjoy life, right? But people that are under this age bracket, you see that these are the people that have been buying, statistically buying property over time. Now, so to explain the broad targeting I talked about, so broad targeting is a situation whereby you pick only your location and then age, then you allow, you don't need to what pick any interest. You allow Facebook to what use the algorithm to get you the people you want. For instance, this audience I pick here under Lagos, and I have about 
1 million to 1.3 million. So you now tell Facebook, Facebook, out of these people, I don't want to put a restricted, just give me, bring to me people that, that are interested in this thing I'm selling based on this age bracket I selected. This is broad targeting. And I want to tell you, this is very effective. I've been using this one over time. This is what I use most times. I use it. Because if you use detailed targeting, which I will equally show you now, detailed targeting is a situation whereby you now come here and pick, okay, what are those interests you want to pick? For instance, you pick international travelers, frequent, frequent, you see, frequent international travelers. Then we have frequent travelers. Then in order to get more suggestions, you can come here on that detail target. You can come here and click suggestion. Then Facebook will give you more suggestions. So I pick this. I pick this. You see different suggestions. I pick luxury goods. These are tourism and many other things. Right? So this, you are not telling Facebook, okay, Facebook, get me the people that are under this category that are interested. Right? These are the people Facebook will show you how to. All the people that are under this, you've selected here. That means you need to select as many as possible, right? So why most times I don't use this one? Because putting up this one, you are going to now limit your ad. You limit it only to the people that are under that falls under this category. Now, whereas other people that have the capacity to purchase what you have that don't that doesn't fall under this category will not see your ad. So that is why I use uh, the boot. Again, one good thing about Facebook ad, you need to test to know the one that works for you. But for me, the one that works for me more is what broad targeting. Broad targeting is the situation whereby you don't pick your, your audience. You don't pick your, you don't restrict your audience, right? You, you keep it broad. You don't put any interest in it. You allow Facebook to do the thing for you. So that is just that. So for, uh, for the sake of this trend, we're going to leave it at this broad. I don't know if you are getting me. Please let me know if you are getting me. Absolutely, we are getting you, sir. Okay, yeah. okay, please. Are you really getting value on this? Let me know yeah. if you are getting value. Yeah, I'm getting value. Yes. Okay, okay. fine. One other yes, thing. Yes, I'm if getting you notice, value. Yes, so and now as part of qualifying people, because I said earlier on, the advantage uh, lead ad has over Ad, uh, such ad that uh, over sales ad, sales objective is lead ad can give you what opportunity to qualify people to narrow whatever you are having. But sales, one of the ways to do it coming under sales is some of this thing now. Number one, age, whereby you're able to select the right age, right? And again, look at this place. You see, under this Lagos, I was I was able to select, and then if you look at here, it, it shows us. At first, I selected under one that is under city and not state. And then, if you look at here, you showing us twenty five miles radio. So we are going to what narrow it down to ten or fifteen miles. Let's put fifteen. So fifteen means that it's going to cut it. Fifteen means that it's going to what narrow it to people who are living within the city. So it has by. It has bypassed Ikorodu. If you look at this uh, diagram now, it has bypassed Ikorodu. So it's not getting to Ikorodu. It's not reaching to Epe, right? So it's now narrowly, uh, narrowing your art to people within town alone. So that is equally part of ways to uh, qualify your people. But then one other uh, bonus I'm going to give you people here is what you now want to do, go and pick some other. If you now notice here, Lekki is out, cut out of this place. And some other area in Ireland, they are cut out. So what we want to do is that is Lake Ekwe. I see a Lake Lake here. Look at Lake here, and then look at Ekwe here. Ekwe is cut out, and then Lake is, is cut out. So you now know that some of the prime location we need Lake is important. Is important. So what I do, I will now go and type Banana Island. Banana Island. Right, so Banana Island, Lagos State, neighborhood is in. Then those prime locations we have in Ireland, then Lakey, 
Lady Peninsula, Lagos State, neighborhood, Onan Taipei. Then which other location of Victoria Island? Neighborhood, right? And then which other location will have, uh, of course, Ikoi is still under Victoria Island. And then you get as many as many locations as possible. You feel that they are in island that is being boycotted, right? So you get them and then type them like this. And then you are good to go. So let's let's proceed. Then you leave your gender, of course. Both male and female, they do buy property. So you leave your gender at this. And then language, of course, you leave it uh, at this because it's not that important. Then you can save your audience. See this one now. Let's save this audience so that at any point you want to come back to use this audience, we don't have to create new other audience again. We'll go under save audience and pick them. So in this one, I think, of course, you are using Jasper Gardenia. So we'll save it as Jasper Gardenia. Or you can save it at Lagos. Let me edit it and put Lagos so that for the sake of reference, instead of Jasper Gardenia, let me put uh, Lagos. So, 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 and so, as the case uh, will be as well. A quick one, to... a quick one. I'm seeing okay. age here, 40 to 60. Are you yes. actually putting only 40 to 60? Yes, uh, it's intentional, actually. Yes, I'm putting only 40 to 60, because remember uh, earlier on, I said that any uh, most people that buy property in Nigeria are the people between this age bracket, especially, at least, if you want to be fair enough, you say from 38 years and above. This is the age okay, bracket okay, that buy. Okay. Right? But for okay. me, to I to I want to narrow it down to 40. And again, I say that people that are above 60, they are no longer interested in buying property, they want to go and rest. Okay. So most the yeah, brackets although, have is okay. Yeah, just a quick one. Because of the way young persons are making money these days, even from okay. age 25, especially those okay. people that do forex affiliate marketing, they will make crazy okay. money as well. Some of them okay. too actually look out for properties. So this is fine. Yes, actually, the highest number of people are between this age, but these days I know that even from 20, some persons have already started looking out for property to buy. So it depends okay. as well. Yeah, you know why? You know why you don't uh, statistically you don't go by that because they are few. Now, because yeah, if you use for instance, if you use 25 years and above, out of that 25 years, you want to know how many Nigerians that are within that age bracket of 25 that can afford uh property. They are just about 0.5 percent in Nigeria. Right? And if you have a lot of them like that and put on Facebook, the more people you will get in that A bracket are the people that will maybe they don't have the capacity. I've tested it over time. So you mm. can, and that is one good thing about Facebook, you can do this test on your own and, and note and see that, right? So this is what I've tested personally over time, but that is why I decided to use that. So of course, I understand that, but oh, 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 majority don't, majority don't fall to that factor. Just to be Thank on the safe you. side, Thank and you. we don't want to waste money. Except you have many, much money, you can be able to do the test. And then Thank you. that is that. Then placement, this is very important. Now, for those of us that want maybe been asking, where do I take? Is it where do I take my ad? To? Is it to Facebook or to Instagram? Usually, I leave this at automatic placement, whereby Facebook and then Instagram can want to be reached. So if actually you want, if you want your Facebook to show only on Instagram, you can untick Facebook. So whatever we're doing here is only people that are on Instagram will see it. You see that this audience has reduced to 400 and, six, uh, 400 and something. Then if you want both Facebook people and then Instagram to see it, you, uh, you only tick Facebook. Then if you want it to be seen by only people on Facebook alone, you want, you untick Instagram, right? So this is, uh, both of them work actually, both of them work, but before now, I use only Facebook, I'm telling you the truth. And that was my personal page I've been using before. Now this page, I just created it just uh, April. So my personal page, I did not link Instagram to that account. So I was only using Facebook. Then this messenger and then audience network. Audience network, uh, maybe when you uh, carry your phone, you see some of those ads that pop up on, on your Android phone. Those are the audience. That means uh, those uh, 
network outside they are outside they go out of facebook these are partner network uh, this, so you can leave it so if you are using automatic it will highlight all of this and the messenger of course on your messenger so you want to leave them like this unless you want to actually maybe narrow it down to test if Facebook or Instagram work for you, but generally I leave it at this automatic placement. So I bring it back to what advantage plus placement. So in this regard, it means that you don't need to select any other thing. So you go to next. Okay, so this is the ad. This ad, this is where you put your creative, where you put whatever you've created. And then we'll go down. That's that's very this I published on my page. This is where we're going to pick it up. And I told her that I'm going to tell us why I do publish and then pick it from here. Now, if you look at this place, it share, it, under this ad setup, it says create ad. So under create ad, it will allow you to be able to what, put your creative, just like that information Mr. Joe published. I can decide to pick it up from here, upload my video from here, for instance. Then go to my computer, then pick this video, and then upload it. These are the two ways to go about that. Now this the video is loading, so I go to next, and then this, it continue, done. Right, the video is here. So let me go equally go and pick this the right up. I will go and pick this right up. So under this primary ad test, I'll put it here. So you can decide at this point, you can decide to tweak the right up as you would want it, right? And then leave it there. So the advantage you have in this place, you can be able to put your headline. Maybe you can decide to put anything at all. Jasper, for instance, Jasper Gardenia, or uh, maybe limited time available. Let me see. Limited time available. So this is the only advantage of putting, this is the only advantage of putting your creative on this area, right? This is the only advantage you have. You can be able to just Put your head in that just the head is the only thing. Any other thing you can put it on your area. But then why I don't use this? I rather prefer going by this. So let me remove this now because I don't want to use this. Let me show us what I use. Usually I decide to now go under here, use existing post. I use existing post instead. The reason being that using existing post, what it will help me. Let me go and pick it from my page. Okay, this is the this is the one I published just by Gardena on my page. I'll go and pick it on my page instead. So what's the advantage about this one is that as your ad is running, the people people are liking it and they are commenting on it. So as they are liking your your ad and then commenting on it, it will be reflecting on your page. That means as they are taking action, any action they are taking on that area will be reflecting here, for instance. Let me refresh it for you to see the one I published. Right? Now, any action as the ad is ongoing, any action people are taking. Okay, let me show you one of one of my ongoing ads. Uh, this one I just set it up today. Uh, this one, for instance, you see now these people. They, this I have about six, six likes in this place. So this was they are, it was ad, and then look at this particular one. Okay, this is one of the Adam is still ongoing. I have sixteen likes here and two comments. But then the one that I generated a lot of uh, this. Is, okay, fine. You see this one now. I have about sixty, eighty six likes, and then five comments, right? So it seems that it's reflecting, it's it reflected on this page because I was able to publish it, I was able to pick it from this page. Now, supposing I did not pick, I did not pick it from this area, you see this one will not be able to reflect here. 
And then these comments will not be able to show here. So that is the advantage. And with this, it's what boosts the engagement of your ad. And when people are being engaged, when your ad is being engaged like this, it helps your ad to work, or perform very well. Do you get it? So that is why I yes. usually prefer, yes, I usually prefer picking my uh, right off from the one I published. That was why I have to publish it first and then to be able to pick it from here. So that is, that is the thing. You don't have to do any other thing. You go straight towards publish. And then hit your publish. And that's all. You see this ad. But then I'm going to show us something again. One of the ways to qualify people so that you don't have to get a agent. Some people, most of the uh, most of the times you, you see that when you're running ad, you see a lot of agents reaching out to you. And then agents, this, I'm agent and all of that. So I just have to show all this one now. I'm going back to edit it and then to show us why in order to buy court agent and as many people that are possible that are under real estate, you don't want to see your ad. So let's go back to edit this ad. Let's go under this ad set. We'll go under our We'll go under our audience. Now, so for us to be able to narrow, uh, exclude, what we'll do, we'll be excluding those people. We'll be excluding the agents. As many names you can uh, remember that are agents, that are under agents. So what you do, you come here and do what? Add exclusion. We want to exclude them so that they will not be able to see our ad. So I click here, add exclusion. Okay, so you want to tell me some of those names, agents, real estate, fine, type real estate agents. Agents, so you can exclude as many people as possible. For example, I want you to look. I'm having network delay, please, hold on. Sorry, please. Yeah, someone just suggested that we also block realtors. Oh, fine. All of those. Exactly. Realtors, all of yes. those. All of those. Okay, let me type realtors. Right. You see, you see, realtor. Anything. Okay, let me copy because I'll have to be doing a lot of it. Copy. Then realtor, you type, you click, and then. Realtor again. So anything that has to do with realtor salesperson, you exclude them. A lot of those under realtor, you still until everything that have to do with realtor is gone. Then you go to another a subject you get. Yeah, because this one wants to leave it to run and then want to get it. So that is why I want to get as many as possible to remove them. So realtor will have a lot of them that belong to realtor, realtor magazine. Because any person that reacts or sells associates, property manager reacts, so as many as you can, reacts or sales associates, as many as you can, make sure that at least because it will take you time anyway, but it's worth it. So at the end of the day, those people will not be there. It's not, they are not the people you are spending your money for. Uh, so it will take a bit time. So I would have, I want to, I would have maybe say, let me jump this on board because this ad, I'm putting up, uh, putting it up for all to see the result it will get. That's why I'm taking time to do this equally, right? Because I want to leave it Sorry. to run. So that it... uh, under what are you editing? You said? Under what are you editing it? Under what? Under, I can't remember the name that you, okay. where you come back to this. What's the name? Okay, normally under your, if you pass location, under your detail targeting, you will see exclusion. Okay. You see, after your gender, look at gender here, then below it is detail targeting. Immediately below the detail targeting is your interest. It's not under interest, you see exclusion. So it's under exclusion now you do this. Okay, so we are done with reactor. Let's type property, property. Want to exclude people that are. I'm coming, please. Property and 
Okay, I want you to notice something here. You see, under this property, I type property here. So you now look at here, you see, these people have property as their title. You know that they are under property. They have things to do with property, so we exclude them. So they are not people that have property as an interest. Look at here. These people, they are, they are here is as an employer, so we exclude them. Here, property manager, you exclude them. Property specialist, you exclude them. Property law, of course, you exclude them. So as many as you can. So you want to take time to do this, and it will work just like I said before. Until you make sure that you cannot get as many of them that belong to this property. Employer. So now, what you want to leave, all of this one that have property as their interest, because they can be your potential client, so you leave them. You leave them, and then go to the ones that have it as employer. Job title. Job title, you exclude them. Employer, you exclude them. So, but for anyone that has it as an interest, you leave it, because they're your potential client, right? Fine. Property is gone. So we want to go to any other one. Which other one? Uh, real estate. I'm coming. Real estate. Agents. Copy so that you can do this over and over again. Of course, this the difference now. Real estate agent, people that have interest. This one now, they are people inter indicating interest on that real estate agent. Of course, you know that you don't want them. You exclude them. Then real estate agents, salespeople, you exclude them. So many, as many you can remember, real estate agents, brokers, you exclude them. So, sorry, sir. Please, could we move oh. from this point? I, I believe we have understood this point. Somebody say something. Sir, I said, please, could we move oh. from this point? I believe we've understood this part with the fear. Please go on. Why would you say you should move when he's stating things that other people are interested in? If you just calm down and watch him. No, not not really. I'm not doing it that you didn't understand it. I told you that I am doing, I'm setting up this ad to run. Right? So I don't want to come here and edit it later. So I want to see at the end of the day the result this ad is going to give us. Right? So I'm setting it up and I'm leaving it to run. So it's going to run. I want it to get me client as well. So that is thank why you, I want sir. to take thank you, massive value. You thank that? you. Yes, yeah. sir. Thank you. So thank you, Mr. Emmanuel. By the way, you should appreciate and not look you the way you sounded like he's wasting your time. So you should move to another thing. I mean, why this person took out his time to give you this. So please let's be observant of the kind of um suggestions you are giving. Thank you for the details. Thank you for it's okay. giving us details. God bless you. Yeah, I got it. So that is it. I think so far I've been able to do a lot of it, right? This one we are done with that. So on your own time, you probably can do a lot more research and see as many people that you want to exclude. Right. So far, I think I've been able to do a lot about that. So I update this. So you discover that at least to a great extent within your power, you know that you've been able to do your best that your ad should not get you anything less than what quality one you want, right? So that is just it. So I will now go ahead and then do publish. Now, uh, uh, there's something I, I fail to tell you people in this place and which I may not be able to edit this ad. Now, normally, if you notice the time we are the time I'm setting up this ad by my time here is 8 19 p.m. Right? Usually I advise people any at any time you are setting up your ad, if it is afternoon, you have to put it to start by the next day. Right? And you now want to schedule it. You come to schedule, but now they will not give me that access again to schedule. So you will be able to schedule your ad to start the next day. That is when you are setting it up. If it is not in the morning you can set it up for it to start on the next day. But here, this one, I'm setting it up by this time. It's fine, but because before they approve this ad, it will get to up to 9, 10. So you see that by the time they approve it, it will still have enough time to start running from tomorrow. But if you are setting it up anytime from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m., you want to set it up to start running the next day so that it can what, be able to explore the whole day. 
That is very, very important. So, so far, so we've been able to do this and set up this ad. And then before I'll be able to give out the bonus I talked about, showing us how to run ad Nigeria in diaspora, I want to welcome questions for some of us that will have a question. So now this ad, uh, let me show you. It's under review, if you can see here. Let's look. Yes, it's showing in review. Yeah, it's, uh, it's showing in review, right? As soon as it's been approved, the ad will go live. Uh, and then you start getting people to reach out to you. So, so far, that is the, this is what we can take on this, right? So somebody's raising hand, so yes. I need to- let's, let's appreciate Mr. Emmanuel for giving us wow. in-depth wow. value. Thank you. So, Yes, let's see the fire, the clapping. Let's appreciate it. Mr. Thank, you, thank, you, thank you, Mr. Mark. Simon, thank you. You, you, you deserve 10 bottles of small stouts. <laughs> okay, so we have two persons raising up their hands. So oh, let's yeah. take Mr. Fain, Fain Emmanuel. Please go ahead with your question. All right, thank you, sir. I really appreciate the this last one. Nobody has ever shown me the exclusion. So okay. those that are... That, those that were not needed, they will be coming into somebody this day. And this one alone, you deserve uh, another. Uh, <laughs> another. My question is under paper per click. Under paper okay. per, per that uh, will be generated by Facebook. There are times that the money will be low when you start the ad, but by the time is is getting what you call it, getting to the second day, the pay per click will be increasing. Is it okay like this or, or I mean like that or somebody should just stop the ad or what should we do? Uh, okay, fine. They are, they, that, that is a cost per lead. That is, uh, I'll get to correctly. That is That should be cost per lead, right? Yes, thank now, you. Yes, sir. Look at, look at exactly what you're talking about. Now, for instance, when I started this ad, this ad actually we are seeing here now is active and it's ongoing. Now, when it started, it was uh, the, the budget for this ad is actually 5,000 naira per day. And then so far, you see that I have a, a, this ad now is 1,000 plus, 1,600 cost per lead, right? And then for, for, for me, what I'm seeing here is abnormal because most of my lead, the best lead I do, and which I, what I take to be normal is within 800, 800 to one, maximum 1,200. So anyone that is above 1,300, I see it to be abnormal. But for the fact that this particular ad, I set it up today, so I will not be picked up. I will allow it to run for what? The period of three days to monitor if it will come down or normalize. Do you get? So what you do in such, in such situation, you don't need to panic. Just allow it, maybe except you don't have a fund to test because... One of the best, my first at any ad I set up, the first three days I use it to test to monitor the ad. Okay. Now, one of the things I test for is this thing now, cost per lead. I want to see how the how the this thing is performing. Now, this one now so far today, I am having 1,600 and 600 plus. And for me, it is abnormal, but I will allow it for the whole of today and tomorrow. So if it keeps increasing and it doesn't go down, I will not turn it off and then reduplicate it and then check what could be the issue and correct okay. it. Okay. So sometimes when it runs like this, before the end of the next day, it stabilizes and either come down or stabilizes at one point, uh, between 800 to 1.2. Do you get? Okay, yes, yeah. yes, very well. Thank okay. you so much. I appreciate it. Okay. So the, the next question. Okay, then the second question. Yes, second question. Uh, I have two more persons. Okay. Sir, please, uh, network has been logging me out. Question, I beg. Okay, go ahead. Uh, please, um, I missed the point where you said schedule for a particular time of day. Please, what time of day do you say you should schedule it for? Okay, like normally, for instance, let me show you this. Normally, or let me create a new one and show you that. When you are creating, when you are creating ad, and it happens to be that the time you are creating it is the afternoon time, like from 1 p.m. up to 6 p.m., you want to schedule it for the next day. 
That is for your app to start running from the next day. Okay, let me just go direct to that. So we're here. Okay, now look at look at under this schedule. So your ad yes. today is 29, right? So if you want your ad, like what I was saying, I will not schedule it to start at this uh, 30th on 30th, right? That is the next day. So usually I put it 4 a.m., 4 o'clock a.m. That is the, the next day. Okay. Right. So meaning that at any time, if you are running ad at afternoon, if you are setting up your ad afternoon time, so you schedule it to start for, for from the next day, maybe from 4 a.m. in the morning of the next day. Okay. Do you get that? Yeah, that's why. Yes. Like that. yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. So we have one more question. I think that okay, will be okay, that's okay, our sir. last question. Okay, sir. Hello. Hello. Thank you very much for your hey. value. We appreciate you, sir. Our questions are plenty. Okay. Thank so the question I have is, please. Yeah, go ahead, Mr. J. Okay, so thank you so much, sir. We appreciate you. We appreciate the value. So the question yeah. I have is just the when we use different videos, like you mentioned, we could we could you know we could diverse the video. If we're using two different videos, does that affect the capacity the the ads run in? Like if we, you know, you said we can delegate the videos, so we know which one is performing more. So if we use two different videos, does it somehow slow down the way the ad will run compared to just using just one video? Thank you. Okay, fine. If you actually use two videos, it doesn't really slow down the way the ad run. It doesn't really slow it down. So the only thing actually, and okay, let me just go there. For instance, uh, it did. Okay, this same one that we are reviewing, right? uh edit let me edit it then let me go and add another video here so i will come here and add another duplicate i will duplicate this to put extra video so this is the copy this one that has copy so let me put uh uh let me say uh Buja, for instance this is another video, for instance. I'm just using it as an instance. So let me go to my platform, use the existing video, uh, and pick. Let's assume this is a good job for reference sake anyway. Let's assume it's still the same video. OK, sorry, let me pick this one. I'm running for one of my clients, one of my one of my person. It's, it's still in Lagos. Let me use it too. So the name Lagos to Lag. So, so if I publish this ad now, but before I publish it, remember what I told you, I have to come here. I have to come here to turn this on. And then the only thing now, it will now cost you to put a higher budget because they, it will need a higher budget for them to go through this. Because three thousand naira I put here now will not be able to test these two locate these two uh, creative effectively. So to be able to uh, test them effectively, you need a higher budget. So that is just the only thing it's going to do. So it's not going to slow it. So it will only cost you a higher budget. Do you get? So in this, if I now put five thousand naira here and publish. Then I will go and so I will come and publish this one. So why is not going to why is not going to affect this ad because your Facebook So it's not going to it's not going to affect this one because they are not you are using broad audience so they are not uh, overlapping at all because Facebook show it to different people within your audience so if they don't like this one they will like this other one so but for Facebook to be able to split them like that you have to have to cost you more right so it's not going to affect anyone uh, any of it made by reducing the importance of it at all it's not going to affect it do you get that? 
All right, thank you, Mr. Emmanuel. Thank you. Um, thank you so much. Hello. 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 Yeah. Good evening, Mr. Emmanuel. Someone yeah, is asking a question. Let's Hello. the guy ask. Yeah, you. yeah, you're welcome. The guy, the guy says money. Let's woman to ask the question. No. You will ask next. You just interrupted you the guy who was ask. asking. It's not okay, there, is, okay. there is this one question. There is this question I want to ask. During at this okay, at, at set level, right? At the at yeah. set level, where you chose messenger and then chose okay. WhatsApp messenger. Okay. Um, okay. Does it does it in any way affect the you know you chose placement, automatic placement, which shows that the ad will show on audience network, it will show on messenger, it will show on uh, uh, Facebook feeds and Instagram. So does it mean that if somebody sees the ad on Instagram, they can still click and come to WhatsApp? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. If if the person sees it, just like here now, right? You are talking about here. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. If you are using only Instagram, for instance, the person can click and then come to your uh, WhatsApp. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't affect it, right? No, it doesn't at all. It doesn't. Okay. Then the problem with this WhatsApp, a lot of people, uh, from my observation, I also do digital marketing, all right? So I have an idea. Okay. So okay. I, um, the problem with this WhatsApp, you see people uh, sending traffic to WhatsApp. And at the end of the day, they being able to manage those uh, leads on WhatsApp is a little bit, there's a little bit hiccup, and it will be like the quality of leads you got are not quality. So from your experience, from your experience, if you can shed light on a few strategies that can help one to get a grip on WhatsApp, and manage, get a good grip on them, like manage them well. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, I I actually understand that, right? You know, is is actually a general issue, right? It's really really a general issue. Sometimes for me, I will get a. I'll get lead, like for instance, the one I was showing you, that I have, I have over 98, 98 people that reached out to me. Out of the 98 people, the people that were that were very, very serious were about six of them. So other ones, other ones, maybe about, uh, let me say, 50% of them were not ready to make a purchase. They were not ready actually to invest because they were not have the money. And most of the things that, makes that sometimes when you when they reach out to you on WhatsApp, what, what they want to see is the price. So immediately they see the price and it becomes that it is not up to their budget. Some might not even be able to reach out to the door I don't have the courage to tell you because I have seen many of them. I have to even I will literally have to call them up to two, three to four times before they tell me, my brother, I, I don't even have up to your budget. And it's few of them that have courage that will tell me like that. So most cases, yeah, they will be open, or it's just a few of them that will open up to you. So most cases, you see that when you reach out to them on WhatsApp, when they reach out to you that they are interested, what they want to see is the price. That is what many of them want to see. So immediately they see the price. Any of them that don't even chat to you again, you see that they don't have the, uh, the, the budget. Or maybe that they are not ready. So immediately you reach out to them as well, but you don't need to conclude. Reach out to them on WhatsApp. If they don't respond by chatting, you, you follow it up by calling. Do you get That is one of the things you want to do, follow up by calling. And it is being said that a real estate deal is being closed when you call up to four times. Most people that call up to four times. Okay, for instance, I remember that uh, during our May, May, that was May, May, this May now, that is two months ago now. We did a promo, actually, Children's Day promo. A woman reached out to me through WhatsApp. She saw my ad on WhatsApp and then reached out to me that she's interested. So because I already prepared message on ground that immediately they reached out to me, I forwarded it to them. So she saw that message and read it. She didn't say anything. Then I neglected because I had over 20 messages to people I was really attending. So I left it that day. Left it two days. On the third day, I feel that our promo is ended. So I summoned up courage to call the woman. 
Immediately, I called that woman. I spoke with the woman for over 35 minutes on phone. She was bombarding me with a lot of questions. Over 35 minutes, I spoke with her on phone. Do you know what? As I finished speaking with her, this woman said, Emmanuel, you know what? I'm going to work with you. Come to my office. As I'm talking to you, this same woman has purchased not less than eight properties from me as at it is this day. Job between the space of May to now, eight properties. Because what I summoned up courage to call her. And I have gotten no less than three people that did like that, even though they, they, they purchased, I think. So those other three people, I think is at minimum maximum of two they are purchased from me. But what am I trying to say? If you can summon up courage to give them a call, even though they don't respond. But one thing that happened with that woman, because another person that was promoting that same product have already spoken with the woman and have even taken her to inspection. I'm telling you, you just for her to make a payment. The person I've taken her to inspection to go and inspect the place. But due to the way I spoke with her, she invited me up to now. Any property she saw online, she'll forward it to me. She said, Imane, go and help me verify this property up to this very moment. And this woman is a big woman. I'm telling you. So that is what, because I someone up her. Had even I say, okay, because this woman didn't respond for two days. I said, let me just you see that how I would have missed that deal. So what am I trying to say? If you reach out to them on WhatsApp that very day, and then uh, they didn't respond, you want to follow it up with call, right? So that is yeah, just the, is, the best this strategy. Is, this is, right. you get this that? is really helpful. Thank you very much. Thank okay, you. fine. So I think we have asked, as our lady asks his, her question. I did well, thank God. <laughs> thank you, hey. um, Mr. Emmanuel. Okay, so, hey, my um, question, my, Mr. Joe, I'm, I'm also on the line now. Okay, my question ah. is, Okay, no problem. This right now is um, Facebook ads. What would you advise for someone that has spent oh, like um, 250000 without getting any hey, money ads? Although both Facebook and Instagram, would you advise me to focus on Facebook ads or I can Emmanuel, see before you Facebook answer? Instagram? Hello? Okay, before you okay. answer, I want okay. to ask uh, Mrs. Monsuras. From the training that you see that he did this evening, did you see anything that you may have missed out from the Facebook ads that you were running that made you probably not so have got results? Lot, so my note is good. good. In fact, I've good. been seeing mistakes. Like that um, ad exclusion. Yeah, I don't do ad exclusion. That good. targeting, Lagos, I will target Lagos. Like I will not do, like the way he reduced the red eye. Yes. 25 minutes or to 15 minutes. So I've, in fact, I've noted uh -huh. this down. Yeah, so I, I would encourage you to try what you have learned here tonight and see what comes out of it. Mr. Emmanuel, you can answer the Facebook, Instagram ad part. Yes, yes I was equally about asking her that same question because, yeah, because I wanted to ask you, what have you observed that you were missing, right? Yeah, what have you observed that you are missing? So for the fact that you've been able to notice the thing that you are not doing right, so, and I, I can say that is one of one of it might be your age, the age you are targeting, and then the exclusion, just like you noted that if not, I couldn't see any other thing. So just continue with the two. Hence, you've been able to see the area you're missing. Just do the Facebook and then Instagram, right? And then correct those, those areas you are missing and then watch it. So, but you don't need to, you don't need to spend up to that amount of money before you know that you're not getting it wrong, okay? So at least even if you map out 20,000, for instance, just the minimum days, the minimum number of days you want to test ad before you know it's not working is three days. Testing mm. for three days, don't allow it to see three days. If it's not working, you turn it off and then seek for solution. So you don't allow it, if not, you don't allow it to spend up to that amount of money and then it becomes a waste. Do you get? Mm. So uh, now correct all of these things, Correct all of these things now you saw that you made the mistake you made, then leave it because it's effective. It's what I do, just like I said. It's the same method I use. I use both Facebook and uh, Instagram. So allow it to run on Facebook and Instagram and then check it for three days and see the results. You get it. All right. Thank you so oh. much, sir. God bless you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Uh, okay, uh, last question for the night. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Mr. Joe, for being there for us. Uh, Mr. Emmanuel. Uh, you know, thank you for the training. For me, it yeah, is okay. timely. It is very yeah. timely. Now, uh, my question 
allow me to uh, uh, ask two questions. One, on uh, this uh, testing issue. Okay. I said on, on testing, you know, on testing, one, one, one will prepare probably two ads. Okay. Uh -huh. And the ads, I believe it will run simultaneously. And, okay. Uh -huh. And both will require budget. Okay. I mean, whatever, whatever one assigns as the budget will be shared mm -hmm. on both of them. Now, my question is, is it really necessary to do this testing or concentrate on one ad, on a single ad? Uh, is this really okay. necessary no. to do the testing or concentrate on one ad? Okay, fine. On the first instance, actually, on the first instance, why, uh, why you want to test two ads, for instance, is uh, for me why sometimes why I I test uh, ad, but normally at every ad you are running, the testing I'm talking about. If you set up an ad, you want to, that is the period of monitoring it to know if it's uh, giving you the result you want. That is the testing I'm, I mean by that. Now, like as I set up this one for instance today, I want to monitor it to see how if it's giving me the expected result, how is the responses of the people. The age bracket, what is their responses within these few days? The people I'm getting, are they expected people? I want to use these first three days to know their responses. So if it's not the kind of people I'm expecting, I will now come back to this ad. If it's at the age, the, the exclusion, the other, maybe if I'm still getting maybe agents, I want to come and see, is there any other people I have not excluded in this area? I will add to exclude them, right? Then the age bracket, if I'm not really maybe getting the capacity, the people that have the capacity, I want to come and work on the location again. Then try to reduce the audience size. These are some of the things. And it happens when you are not getting the results you are expecting. Right? So I must be at the end of three days for you to determine this. Now, in case of uh, being uh, taking two properties, for me, the times I, I I test two properties will be maybe if I'm having confusion, if I'm having confusion that this would this work or this which if if I have two very fantastic location that I don't really know which one will work best. So I'm now having that double mind which will work the best. I'll now put the both of them on Facebook to test between these two. I'm having confusion over which one will work for me. So anyone that work for me, I will now turn the other one off and continue with that one that's working best. Do you get? Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, these two areas of testing I, I'm talking about. You want to say something? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You said I should you. remind you about how to improve cost per message. You know. Please, I have one other question. Please. Now, on the, on the, on the, on, on the, you know, uh, let's say in terms of land, land okay. usually have uh, different prices. Some of the of uh, uh, of a uh, higher price than the other. Okay. Let's say, uh -huh. let's say a land is 3.5 million. Another one okay. is like one point something million. Now, okay. the daily budget, does it have anything to do with the amount of the price of the property? No, it doesn't actually. It doesn't. Okay. I have even used, I have even used 2,000 era, 2000 era daily budget and sold a property of 50 million land. Okay, okay. Yes, and actually, what actually happened that was last year, because at, okay. at that time, dollar because what affects what affect the budget is actually dollar. It is called that the standard rate of uh, uh, Facebook ads is, is five dollar. If you notice, if you've been running out for a long time, you notice before now, the minimum minimum amount of ad you were paying before now was four hundred and fifty. It was 450, but now it has now increased to 1.1 1. Uh, 1, plus, right? So then this same way, see that that same 2,000 era we are using before now can no longer suffice. So that is why you now want to increase the budget because of the dollar increase. It's equally affecting this. Thank you but as for your question, it doesn't really affect by messaging. You said what? You said we should remind you about how to improve, to teach us how to improve cost per messaging. 
Okay, okay. I was saying one of the things, okay, one of the major factors that affect this cost per message is the quality of your video. That is the number one. The quality okay. of your yeah, the quality of your video is the cost of major is the major cost of this. I see now this one that is going up. So there are a lot of things, but number one is quality of the video. So in this regard, I can now, what one of the things I want to do, this same location, I can e either go and edit the video I'm using for this ad, or I will do another video on this location. Yes. Now, like for instance, this particular one now that got yes. me this one, it was it was fantastic. The video was superb. It, the, it was so clear and it was on landscape and was so clear and then fantastic. So I use it here, it performed very well. So quality of the video is number one cost of what high cost per, per result. And again, another cost of high a high cost per yes. result is if many people are running ad with that same video. Mm. And maybe for instance, all of us here, we are running ad with this same video I'm using. And one person, his budget is, he's using 5,000 Naira per day for that same video. And you, you are using 2,000 Naira per day. You see that your own cost per lead will go high. Again, another okay. cost again is if people again are using the same audience, that is why I don't, that is one of the reasons why I don't use those, uh, in most cases, I don't use detailed targeting because a lot of people are stressing a particular interest and I'm using. If you see maybe up to how many people are, are stressing that same interest and then I'm in, into, in, in uh, targeting for that interest because this is auction and I'm using a low budget. So it's going to affect my cost per result. Now that is broad, and a lot of us are, 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 are coming for this same on, on that broad, you see that that is why I advise people try to increase your budget because just like Lagos now is a competitive area, a lot of people are running out on daily basis, targeting the same audience. So that is why you want to be considerate on your what budget, make it to be 3,000 naira and above so that you can be able to perform well outside that the, your video is working very well. So these are some of the things that affect your cost per result. I don't know if okay, you so we shouldn't use detail targeting. That's what you are saying. So detail targeting is 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 good, is good, right? But most times abroad is more preferable, especially when it is when a lot of people are using the same video you are using. Okay, thank Mr. you. Well, Manor, I, please, remember, the quick one. I ran an ad there. Eh? And okay. I, when I check the performance, most people didn't even watch the video till the end. Okay. In fact, nobody watched it up to one minute. That's a, a, a video on a six minutes video or so that showed the lands in uh, uh, Houston, Texas, and uh, Brookshire. That's six minutes video. Nobody watched it to the end. I don't know. Maybe it's because I didn't run the ad well or what. No, I'm telling you, you know, people's attention, people don't like anything that waste their time. For them to be able to even watch watch your video or such, that is why normally when uploading that uh, video, any video on uh, Facebook will say you should limit it, let it be less than two minutes. That's okay. the video recommendation. So if for any reason your video is up to that six minutes you talk about, it should be highly engaging. Okay. Right? It should be highly engaging that it should have something that will bring people's attention and keep them there. You know, ordinarily, maybe if you are, if you open your Facebook page and then you watch a lot of people's ad, you will see some video that that video immediately captures the attention. You want to finish that video before you leave that place. That is an engaging video. So if you should have up to that number of minutes, you should make it very, okay. very engaging. And not many people like anything that uh, is promotional. So that is why if it is a promotional video, okay, so between... Yeah, go ahead. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening. Like our network like, went off. Mr. Manuel, please okay. remember. Uh, good evening, Mr. Joe. Good evening, sir. Yes. Good evening, everyone, please. Um, I don't know if I didn't get. Uh, thank you, Mr. The facilitator. I don't know if I didn't get the part where he said he was going to tell her at the end of the class. Um, targeting. Absolutely. 
targets Nigerians in diaspora. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, right. yeah, All right, sir. Oh, thank, thank you, you so very much, much Emmanuel, for the value so far. You made you made mention of something that when once people come into your DM and they see the price, they just go away. The question is, when you run your ads on your videos, don't you put your prices on your videos? Well, my videos, even uh, I don't to some extent I don't put even at that. Right? Okay, let me show you one of the video. Uh, okay, on my page for instance, so you see how it is. Um, okay, at least this one that performed very well. So look at. So Emmanuel, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Can you hear me? It, yes. Does, it, does your video not have audio, sir? Yeah. Is that what? Your video does it not have audio? Okay, you are not hearing the audio. No, we can't hear the sound. Oh, really? I don't really know why it was not showing. But then, uh, just uh, see it because at this point, the place I put, uh, the place I put price, you see, up to this point, this is where I put price, right? But what people, what people saw in this place is not really the price, it's the environment, what the video was saying. Not many of them saw price because by the time they entered my DM, they were still asking me, tell me more about this, or what is the price, to show you that not many of them saw this price up to this point. So what people are not interested in is what you are saying, what you are saying, and then your voice and what you are saying, and then the video showing whatever you are selling. You see that it's not just like the other person pointed out. It's not many of them that will even watch up to one minute of that video. So sometimes people don't look at that price. It's when they now come to your DM, this is some of the things you will not tell them. Right? And then when you now follow it up, then you can be able to now discuss further with that. So, but what I'm trying to say, even if you put price or not, not many of them want to pay attention to that price. And then some of them that pay, at, of course, I've, made, I've seen many of them that pay attention to the price. When they now reach out to me, that I say, I see your listed social so, so, so price. They now want to start negotiating. Okay, tell me more about this. They ask their question and all of that. Right? But what I'm trying to say, generally, even if you see such people that will come to your DM and then when they reach out to you, and then you respond to them, they don't respond, follow up with a uh, message and then call to make sure that you understand why they are not responding. All right. Thank you so, so much, Mr. Emmanuel. So for the bonus you said you want to give us, is it like a, a video okay. or you just want to share some points on it? Okay. Yeah, it's still a, it's still an ad, but this one now is Nigeria in diaspora, how to target Nigeria in diaspora. Okay. Okay, so literally you are going to do the same thing we did, follow the same procedure we followed, but different targeting you now have. Now, you will notice something that we are going to that Nigerian diaspora. Here is a Gardenia. For instance, now under this place, it's a special ad category. This is now we're targeting Nigerian diaspora. So most cases, in case why I want to emphasize on this area, because so many at times, uh, why some people's ads are being rejected, when they are being rejected, Facebook will tell them they should come and highlight this special ad category if it's showing to US. Now, I want to target people in US and Canada with this ad now. Now, if you come to this place, this particular place, and pick this under this special ad category, because they don't believe in racism, so that is why they want you to indicate, now I will come here and choose this housing, for instance. That is why if you come and make this mistake and choose a housing, and then for instance, you pick a, a United States, you pick United States, for instance, let me remove Nigeria. Uh, okay, United States. And then, uh, 
Sorry, I deleted this. This was not, I deleted something on this. It wasn't complete. So let me just create a new one. So sales it is. So Gardenia, for instance, now you're able to pick all of those, those things I, I did. So it's going to limit what we'll be doing later on in the area of targeting. It will not be able to enable you to target Nigerians in diaspora. So Facebook is going to restrict whatever you'll be doing thereafter. Now it will only enable you to pick all the people in the United States. So I just want you to see this because in case when you run this ad and do it, Facebook will now say, okay, you must have to come and select a special ad category. You don't need to mind that what you want to do is to want to work on your content and then republish. This is United States. This is negligible anyway. So you come here. This is actually where you do, you're supposed to do the whole thing. Now, one thing again you need to notice, if you are running an ad for Nigerians in diaspora, right, you don't, particularly if you are running any ad that's going to UK, you don't, you don't direct it to, you don't direct it to what, through WhatsApp. They don't allow WhatsApp. So for that ad, I only use lead ad. So they don't allow WhatsApp for UK. It's only US and Canada. They allow, that is not America, but for you, Europe, they don't allow you to direct it through WhatsApp for under sales. Then let's proceed for review of the, sorry, please, let me just do this. Okay. So here again, your, your budget must exceed 5,000 Naira per day if you are running Nigerian diaspora because it takes a lot of money to run this. Like for me, usually I run 10,000 Naira per day. Now, at this location, remember what we did here. Now, if you notice at this particular place, this is United States actually by default because we picked it. Now, it cannot allow you to pick age, age limits in this place. So that is only when you go and choose, select that special ad category. It will not allow you to work on this age. See that you cannot be able to click on age. So by default, it is from 18 years and above, right? Then, and then look at this one. By default, it is 65 years and above because they don't- <sighs> My side is breaking. It's not so. Please go ahead. Okay, that could be your network. Okay, now you see. Do you notice something? So in this regard, you cannot be able to do anything on the age. You cannot do anything on the age. And again, you cannot be able to choose the interest here. You cannot do anything on the interest because it is locked. This place is locked, and that is only when you choose that special ad category. So what you now do, any ad you are now running, showing to all the people in 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 the uh, US. So the only thing that you can be able to do to limit this one, when you now come to your ad here, you cannot be able to put it in such a way that it will reflect for people only in Nigeria. But then, why I have to come to this so that when you now set the normal way, and then they say you should go back and click select special ad category. You know what you are coming to meet when you do that. So let me delete this one and now do the normal thing. Thank you. Please, you are interrupting the class. The recording will be made available. We can hear. I think it's your network, most likely. Okay, fine. Now, what I want to do here now, let me just do this. Select this without selecting special ad category. Just do your normal, just give it a name, maybe Gardenia, for instance. So you don't need to do any other thing here again. Just leave it empty, special ad category. You don't need to select it anymore so that it will not lock your ad set. So here again, you come here and select just like normal thing we did. 
I want to show you where the difference is coming from. So, of course, just like the normal thing we teach. Then choose the right number. Let me leave this number. And then, remember I say you have to have a good budget. Usually, I use 10,000 Naira per day. And then, you proceed. Fine. Remember what I did the other time. You switch to original audience. Switch to original audience. Now, this is the most important area where you do the whole magic. Now, in this location, we want to use United States. United States. So you pick US. And if you need to choose uh, Canada as well, only for our audience to be sizable enough. So these are the two areas I'm using. Now, so when you do the whole thing to be able to locate Nigerians in these two areas, then before that, let's speak, let's adjust our dates. You see now, you can be able to adjust the dates, right? Now, here, of course, because most of our Nigerians are abroad, they can be able to, at least from the age of 30, they have started sending good money home. And then again, you want to edit 60, because people that even over there, People that are 65 years and above, they don't have interest in property anymore. They want to go and rest. So you still put it 60. That is different now, 30 to 60 years of old. Okay. So now at uh, this detail targeting, this is what we'll do the whole stuff. Now, what you want to do here is this is the keyword we are looking for. Lived in Nigeria. This is actually the differentiating factor, right? Look at what I have here. First, it is a behavior. This people by nature. Then, lived in Nigeria, formerly expat. That is, formerly Nigerian expat. That means they lived before in Nigeria. That is, they were formerly Nigerian expat. Or you can call it citizen, right? But they are now in US. So this is the major area you'll be able to target Nigeria in diaspora. Now, okay, now if you now come to the right hand side, see what is showing us. That lived in Nigeria. It's showing us description, another description, people who lived, who lived in Nigeria, people who used to live in Nigeria who now lives abroad. Now, the abroad we're talking about is the US and the Canada we put earlier on. Are you getting it, please? Let me know. Yes. Okay, fine. So this is just the only thing. When you do it, you have targeted, depend on the location of which you can choose to put maybe UK and then come here and pick lead in Nigeria. Now, for instance, if maybe you're a Ghana, you are you're a Ghanaian or a Cameroonian, you are targeting people in diaspora that you want them to buy your product in Ghana, you still have to type lead in Ghana. Still the same thing. People who lead who used to live in Ghana now stays abroad. So this is just the factor, the only thing. Now let's put that Nigeria back. Nigeria. Okay. So this is just the only thing you will do. Leave every other thing normal, just like we did, and then proceed. So you now see our audience has reduced. Initially, you see that it's covered the whole, uh, maybe, how, what was the audience? I want you to see something. Now I've removed it. So see our audience now, 96 million plus, right? This covers the entire people in the United States and then in Canada. But for the fact now, I want to narrow it down to only Nigerians that are living there, lived in Nigeria. So you see that our audience has reduced, estimated audience has reduced to 197,200 plus. And this is to show that it has not been able to streamline it to only Nigerians that are in US and in Canada. So these are the only people this uh, will now reach there. So of course, you now continue without doing it. Your normal thing, every other thing is fine, just like we did before. Just proceed. And then, of course, pick your uh, destiny. The existing post, just like we did before as well. Uh, which post now? 
Ya está. Then continue. And then publish. So you understand. So the only thing, just the area I showed you. So as soon as it's been published, you wait for it to be approved. So if your ad is being approved, then you now proceed, right? So you see that. Sorry. Let me know. Let me see the one I just did now. Okay, I've seen it. So this is actually the, the way to target Nigerians in diaspora. That is just the only thing. So the only thing you need to put your lead in Nigeria. When you select the particular, when you select the particular location, then you put your you put your that's all. I'm trying to delete this thing, even though I will do it later. So I don't know if you got what I, I, I did here. And then let me know if actually it was helpful. So you can just go. So for you, for you to do this, you have to have a good budget, just like I said earlier. Yeah. So I think so far, so good. That is the much we can take today. And then if there's any question on this particular one, I'll, I'll just take only two questions. And then we're good to go. Any other question will be taken outside the class because I know that. Mm -hmm. Me, yes, I cannot appreciate you know personally. You have cleared a number of challenges that I have been having when it comes to running ads. I want to say thank you very very much. Thank you, Osina Chuku, for appreciating him. Let's appreciate him in the comment section. And yes, for those of us asking if they will be recording, we'll be making the recording available from tomorrow morning on our YouTube page, that GTEx and Associates YouTube page. So I want to call our attention to two things precisely. Uh, how many of us are aware that there is an ongoing discount that Dr. Stephen Akintayo is giving, um, they call it chairman negotiation day, where if you have a client that is interested in our property in specific locations, and they are saying, oh, the price is, is okay, but we cannot afford that price. Now we like a discount of so so amount. If you have those kind of persons, know that between now and 5th of September, between now and 5th of September, which is the inspection day, Dr. Stephen is giving a discount to anyone who shows up. So I want to be sure how many of us are aware of that chairman negotiation offer? Just type yes in the comment section quickly. If you are aware, type yes in the comment section. Okay, Ola is aware. Thank you, Reginald is aware. So great, great. Wait, I'm happy that a number of us are aware. Then how many of us are aware that this coming Thursday is our inspection to Jasper Isheri and Sapphire Ikorodu? Okay. Ah, Ola, Ola is very current too. I want to see if I can show it on my screen here. Okay, okay great. Mr. Joe, I think, uh, sorry, I think I will leave you guys. So any of them that have, uh, maybe have need of reaching out, maybe you can share my detail with them. They can reach out. Definitely, to them definitely, definitely. Yeah, Once you. again, thank you so, so much. Mr. Emmanuel, we really appreciate the, thank you, the, the thank you. And thank yeah. you everyone for being part of this meeting. I really appreciate it as well. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Yeah, Mr. Chola, how are you now? Recording. Yeah, right. You're welcome. Are you guys to take care? Thank you so much, sir. The value All of this right. class is worth one million naira. Yeah, my pleasure, my pleasure. Thank you so much. All Very right. true, man.
Bye-bye. Awesome. So thank you once again, Mr. Emmanuel. I'm sharing my screen. Can you see it? So the next session of is on five is at five locations. We're only doing it on 20 plots on the entire location. I understand correctly. I think one acre is gone. So we have just 14 plots left. So this is the opportunity you have. Great. So I encourage you start reaching out, especially for Sapphire and Kurudu that will be visiting on Thursday. Start telling people ahead of it because that day will be the last day of the final offer. So I want to believe that every one of us here have registered for the inspection. Yes. So good news. You have the opportunity to design and let people know that you are coming for a, an inspection with GTEx. So there's actually a gift for those who participate in this. Once you click on the link that we, it was shared this afternoon, but we'll share it again. Once you click on that link, you get to create your own DP, upload your own picture, and get your own banner. Then you can post it on social Mr. media. Mr. Yes, Mr. 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 Hello, sir. Yes, let me just round up quickly. If okay. you can bring it up to 10 persons, if you can bring it up to at least more than 10 persons, though, you will get a gift. Please ask your question, Mr. Ola. It was the God, like the design. So while I was doing it, I don't know if it's a picture of uh, size or something. It was telling me pre approval that it's still working, working on and it I screenshot and sent to you if you check your, your it's still there now. Okay. Yes, sir. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. So apart from well, I, I didn't get you. I say it escaped my mouth. I've reminded you, not until you spoke about it just now. Oh, okay, no problem. I'll check it out immediately after this meeting. Apart from Ola, is there anybody having this challenge, like trying to create your DP with this design? Okay, I want to believe every other person is getting it correctly. So, do you will do this design? There's the hashtag um, GTX inspection. Someone wanted to say something. You said? Yes, I had this one. He's, he's saying working, working, working. He didn't download. Send me screenshots, please. Okay. Okay, great. So there's a, the hashtag Chitos Inspection. Then there's another hashtag, I think, Jasper Sapphire Tor. Good. So those two is, um, hashtags, post it on social media, invites at least 10 persons, person who brings the highest friends or clients for that inspection, at least above 10, we will get the gifts. So thank you very, very much. We'll upload this training on our YouTube channel before tomorrow morning so you can get to watch it, practice and practice. Let's bring in sales. We played a video at the beginning. This car won the car on the 20th of July. There's still another car, although we've not seen someone that hit 200 million yet. So if you hit 200 million, you know you have a car. There's also an international trip to Cameroon. There's a trip, I think, to Doha. A number of trips lined up. So it depends on you right now. How bad do you want it? So use this class, run ads. The time you will use to share flyer to, even if you share flyer, how many people can you share flyer to in a day? If you want to reach Mr. Emmanuel, you reach out to me then. We'll proceed from there. So for more information, every other thing we shared in the WhatsApp group. Thank you very much and do have a great, great night rest.